Well, well, well. So today is one of my favorite graphic design topics. I'm quite interested in this one. Um, it's just fascinating to me. We're talking about branding and corporate identity, which is two synonyms, basically the same thing. And uh, branding and corporate identity, um, it basically is like the the visual depiction of a company. Let me just show you. It's easier to show than to tell, actually. So let me do the share screen. Um, okay, just follow me here. This is Morgan Freeman. Um, when he wears sunglasses, he looks like Morgan Freeman in sunglasses. When he wears a hat, he looks like Morgan Freeman in a hat. When he was young, he looked like young Morgan Freeman. And when he was old, he looked like old Morgan Freeman. Um, when he's happy or sad, he looks like a happy or sad Morgan Freeman. Even cartoons look like a Morgan Freeman cartoon. So um, here's the thing. He has a visual identity, and that is a good thing. No matter what uh, flavor he is that particular day, no matter what apparel he has on to, to spice himself up, at his essence, he is Morgan Freeman. At his core, he's Morgan Freeman. So if you do a Google search for Morgan Freeman, this is what it, it looks like. And again, so many flavors of Morgan Freeman, but it's kind of like in a good way. You see one, you've seen them all. You know you know what he looks like. You recognize him. That's what companies want and need. They need recognizability. So um, uh, just imagine, well, don't imagine yet. We'll get there. I, I did a similar thing. I did a, I did a graphic design related Google search. I typed in Pepsi ad and kind of the same thing. You know, in a good way, you see one, you've seen them all. Like uh, they don't just use any old blue. They use Pepsi blue. They don't use any old red. They use Pepsi red. They always have the same logo, have similar types of, of pictures, um, things like that. Um, Auburn University football. I typed in Auburn, Auburn football poster. And again, in a good way, it's kind of like you see one, you've seen them all. And uh, even here at Auburn High School, these are four high school posters. One, two, three, four. I mean, when you see one or another, you know that they both belong to Auburn High School. Same logo, same color, same style, uh, same sensibilities, things like that. That's what you want. So here's a, a local company, a local restaurant that um, they did it right. They hired a professional firm, I'm pretty sure. And they, um, you know, it's not just a mom and pop scribbling something out saying this looks good. They got uh, a company to to set up their identity and uh, okay, so here's their logo. Here's a menu. Here's an alternate menu or back of a menu. This is just a photograph. This isn't even graphic design, but it man, it fits so well. Like all the same color T-shirt, same color van. Uh, this maybe I don't know a Facebook banner or something. Uh, here's their business cards, their coasters. The point is, do you see how similar uh, all these things are? Here's just an assortment of things, and you can tell they all go together. Gift card and promotional item and uh, oh goodness, a uh, business card, uh, a, a menu flyer type thing, just a little bit of everything. I'm assuming these are match boxes, they're merchandise, um, and again, just an assortment. Um, just going through them quickly. I mean, just look again in the nicest way possible. You see one, you've seen them all. It has an identity. If you see a Lucy's hat, it looks like a Lucy's hat. If you see a Lucy's menu, it looks like a Lucy's menu. So here's the good thing about that, among other things. So if you're on Instagram and you are just scrolling, 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 scrolling past all these um, images, if you're a fan of Lucy's and you see something that color right there, you're probably going to stop and say, oh, that looks like Lucy's. And it is. You know, um, if I was on uh, Instagram or Facebook and I'm just scrolling and I see, hey, that looks like my wife. I'm going to stop and click on that one. Hey, it is my wife. Oh, she's taking my daughter to the duck pond or I don't know, whatever. So um, it's recognizability and familiarity are huge in, in marketing and advertising. If, uh, if Lucy's used a different color every time, it'd be confusing and you might miss them on the scroll. But because they brand well, all these things they do, shoop, it looks like it belongs together. It's cohesive. Uh, that's a strong visual identity. Okay, here's a completely different restaurant. Um, the Hound, completely different identity, and that's the way they like it. That's Every company should have its own unique identity. The Hound does not want to look like Lucy's. Lucy's does not want to look like the Hound. 
that's a good thing. They have two different menus, two different chefs, two different, uh, I mean, maybe, you know, groups of clientele. One might like meat more. One might like, I haven't been to Lucy's yet. I want to try it and see what they have. Um, but anyway, here's their logo. Here's like an alternate logo. Here's um, uh, the front simple, you know, the, Lucy's looks fun and bright and happy and whimsical. The hound looks simple food, you know, that kind of thing. And again, that that's what they're going for. That's what they want. So uh, the hound logo wood, uh, more wood, you know, uh, menu, very just simple. There's no color at all. Uh, and if there is color, it's often brown like wood, you know, just that kind of thing, the color of a deer. Uh, here it is in front of a, uh, I guess that's a picture inside the hound with some some deer antler and, and skulls and things like that. They're going for a whole different identity, and they've got it, right? So um, the bean, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. This is another local Auburn one um, started a few years ago. See these colors? So that's their old logo when they first started. I think this is their new one. Here's the front of their building. Um, but you see already the resemblances, right? So again, no graphic design here, just a photograph. And man, that photograph just like captures the bean, just like their logo does. And they look like they belong together. I mean, same color, same retro vintage vibe about it, right? Here's another just photograph. And they, they use that as like the background of one of their graphics, same colors. And here's their gift cards. Here's like, hey, we're moving but it's still going to be very vintage and very retro at this other location. And it is, you know, and so again, in the nicest way possible, you see one, you've seen them all. That's just strong visual identity, corporate identity. It all, all these things, boom, they belong together. Again, you're scrolling through. Oh, skip, 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 skip. So, hey, whoa, 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 that looks like the bean. It's the colors of the bean, the, the retro vibe of the bean. Um, Here's a, a brand new company. I actually did the logo for them, and uh, I'm hoping they'll do T-shirts, and uh, they already do have hats and things like that, but already they're trying to build up their identity, right? And, I mean, you know, you can see some uh, semblance starting to kind of come together. And so one last one. Um, okay, there were these shows years ago out of Arizona State University, and the headliner was uh, a guy named Ron Pearson. He's a guy, uh, he's like a sitcom warm-up guy in Hollywood. He keeps the crowd entertained at shows and stuff like that for television. Anyway, it, you know, it was out in the West, it's in Arizona, so their theme is outlaw comedy. And here's the picture of his face. Um, just notice, you know, browns and yellows, and it's, it looks kind of old and rustic and like leather, you know, that kind of thing. So anyway, here's... Um, Here's a ticket. Here is a, a Facebook banner or something. Here's some type of ad. Here's their logo. Here's their opposite flipped reverse logo. Um, here is, uh, I don't know, some type of other uh, ad. Same picture of, oh, wait a minute. Oh, there's a different photo of the same guy making the same type of face. It is a different photo. And uh, again, browns, yellow, same font every time. Uh, crooked often for whatever reason. And so just to stand out, you know, um, again, in the nicest way possible, if you've seen one of these, you've kind of seen all of these, and yet they all, they all have their own distinct things, right? I mean, each one looks good by itself. This one looks great. This one looks a little tweaked and it looks great, but they certainly, certainly go together. Uh, and again, you know, you're scrolling through, skip, skip, skip. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm interested in this because I've seen this mentioned five other times in five other ways. And I'm going to stop and read about this and maybe it's new information. So anyway, I hope that makes sense for um, corporate identity or um, branding, as they call it. And uh, so our current project this week is we're doing an ad for a local restaurant. And, uh, you know, we're just going to write them a nice little formal formal letter and say, hey, if you could use this, please feel free. If you need me to tweak it or if you need me to do any work in the future, let me know. And uh, um, if we do um, future work for them, either they're already going to have a strong corporate identity that we need to fit into or they're going to need us to help develop a strong corporate identity. If they're using a different font every time, and a different color every time and a different texture every time they're going to need us to help them 
to like bring that all together and and create like wait a minute that that looks like Morgan Freeman but that looks like Tom Cruise but that one looks like someone else that one looks like someone else you can't if you're a company you can't do that you need to have it always look um as one you know okay hope that makes sense if y'all have any questions guys y'all let me know and uh i will talk to you guys later